in a very specific implementation, we can combine this oscillation with the comparator with the modulation of the pulse width of the signal. And the circuit shown here on the diagram is called an A-stable integrating modulator. It has the pulse width modulated signal at its output, the window signal, which is simply a resistive voltage division from the pulse signal towards ground, and a carrier signal, which also is a voltage division, but this time with the resistor and a capacitor, and the input to that voltage division is again the pulse signal P. If we start out with assuming that the pulse is starting negative, so the comparator is providing its negative output, that means that the window signal is simply a voltage division towards ground and the capacitor voltage is discharging until the inverting input crosses the non-inverting input of the comparator exactly here. And therefore the output of the comparator flips to its high output. The window signal is immediately following this jump whereas the voltage on the inverting input is following delayed through the RC time constant of the negative feedback around the comparator. And at the time where the inverting input of the comparator is higher than the non-inverting input of the comparator, its output switches back to the negative state. Now, if we add another voltage source and a resistor to that circuit where the voltage source Vs is changing way slower than the operation of our comparator, we can either have a negative voltage from Vs, which helps to discharge the capacitor. That means in the first time here, we reach the crossover point faster. And on the other hand, when the output of the comparator is positive, it works against the charging of the capacitor and slows the voltage rise in the capacitor down. And if Vs is actually positive, then we are helping charging the capacitor, but working against the discharging. So the discharging period takes longer time and the charging period is faster. Through that extra voltage source, we now started modulating the pulse width of the output signal of the comparator. That modulator is useful, for example, in audio amplifiers, where the extra source voltage could, for example, be the audio signal, and we use the pulses to drive the power stage in a switch mode audio power amplifier or also in other power electronics where we control the output voltage of a power supply through the pulse width of those signals.